Hello, welcome to the IT Academy once again. I'm Dan. In today's video, I'm going to explain how to create a simple data entry form in Excel. Now, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you get notified each time I upload a new video. Now, let's get back to the data entry form in Excel. Now, sometimes you have data to enter in Excel and it can be a bit of a hassle, especially if you have a lot of columns, 10, 15 columns, you find yourself entering data and you scroll, you have to scroll to the right side of the columns that are not visible on the screen. So the solution to that is to use the data entry form. So how are we going to do that? Let me explain to you. First of all, you create a table. Let me do a sample here. Let's say I have information to enter that requires these name, department, uh, salary, then city. Okay, so to create the data entry form, I would have to highlight this and convert these columns into a table. That is the prerequisite for creating a data entry form. So I highlight it and then to create a table or convert it to a table, I will click Control T. You can see Excel has ha have had it surrounded or outlined. And I agree with the outline. I simply confirm that my table has got headers. You state that so that Excel will recognize that these are table headers and not part of the data itself. So I click OK. And you can see these buttons have appeared here. That means Excel recognizes this as a table. So once you have created this table, you have to go and click on the uh, data entry form icon for it to be created. Now, where do we find it? We're supposed to find it on the quick access toolbar but by default it is not located here you have to now bring it up how do we bring it we click on this little arrow here and then you can see that all the things that are checked are those that are appear here save open they're all here and we don't find data entry form among them so we have to go to more commands is it among the popular commands no it's not and we click to see more categories it is among the commands that is not in the ribbon so we click this so it's going to be among here how do we get it it starts with letter f so i click uh, i press the f i keep pressing f till i get it i found it this is the form icon so i click on it to select and then add it. This will make it to become part of the quick access toolbar icons. So once I've added it, I click OK. And then what do we do? We click anywhere in this table and then click on the data entry form. And then there you have your data entry form. So let's try to enter some data in it. You can see that it is arranged vertically. That means even if you have 25 columns, it's going to fit in. Uh, with the additional vertical scroll bar, it can take in a whole lot. So let's enter some data. I have, uh, let's say, James Brown. And I press the tab key. Department is sales. Salary is 4,000 city is london and i press enter you see it's appeared in the table then i click the next one jane mensa department is hr salary is five thousand city is accra i press enter so you can do this a hundred times and you see that it's a very uh, very convenient way to enter your data 
like you said so once you click let's say you are even uh, trying to scan through the records all you have to do is go to find previous or find next and you go in between you're going up and down the records so while you are here you can click on new and it gives you the opportunity to type in new records you see department sales salary 5000 city new york and i press enter it goes so that is what we use the data entry screen for or the data entry form now let's look at some of the buttons that we've not used we've used the new button which makes it possible for us to add a new record find previous and find next which makes it possible to navigate up and down within the records what about criteria now criteria is what we use when we want to search for information in the table now let's see there is another uh let's close this one there is another table here or a collection of columns i let's say you already have this records and you want to search through it you have to convert it to a table first and then you use the data entry form to do your search so to convert it to a table like i said before you simply click anywhere within the table and then control t you see that it has highlighted the entire table and then you just click ok it gives you these buttons and that shows that it recognizes these as column headers so what do we do you click somewhere or anywhere in this table and then you click on data entry form and it tells you already that there are 40 records in this this is the first of 40 so you can find next you see we can go through we navigating through the records yes we can go through previous you can pick on any of the records and delete them let's go to the first one the first one is bill macarthur i can simply click delete and it's gone then there is this button that is grayed out what do we use it for let's say this department uh, the person belongs to the acquisition department and i'm making some editing or corrections and i type sales i find out that it was an error to type this sales i can simply click on restore and it gets back to where it was before then we come to criteria so what is criteria for criteria is used when we want to search for specific information so you make sure that you uh, click inside already you have the form what are you looking for let's click on it first click on criteria i am searching for somebody called adam long there are thousands of records i can't just scroll through manually so i'm going to use criteria the person's name is adam long i just press enter and you can see i typed in his name now i have all his other details being displayed you see so this is what criteria does so when you finish you just click close anytime you want to enter data with or, or edit information or search for information using the form as long as you have converted this into a table you can simply click inside and go back to form and it comes here you can add new records delete use criteria to search among other things so i hope this video has been of help to you and please like and share our videos 
see you